This is a short tutorial on image mapping in Android, which we will load a photo or a JPEG image into the app. We're going to drop our height and distance readings directly into this JPEG image. So we'll end up with a photograph of the job site with all of our images dropped in. Now in the Android version, it goes a little farther than the iOS at this time. The Android version also creates an XYZ uh, set of data that's uh, derived from the JPEG image. So you can upload that directly into your CAD program. So the first thing we're going to do, we want to make sure we're connected to the level before you start. Don't want to get a bunch of zero readings. It's frustrating to do that. So make sure that your level and your app are connected. We're going to go into the image mapping section. We're going to choose an image. Now I'm going to go into the text and I like this in red. We're in red 16. That's good. Okay. Our starting point, we're going to make our starting point right here and we'll simply tag the ruler button for our initial starting point now we're coming over to our second point we're going to just map this down the edge of the highway to start with and we move our level then over to that particular location and I'm showing about one foot six inches or something like that now you see that red line that we're drawing that's our distance in the computer it, it knows the direction we're going so we're going up we're, we're creating a perimeter that red line are, will be our perimeter it will give you the working area it's very helpful now we're going up going to end up with about three foot it's a little below four foot we'll move over to this location it's actually going to be So what we're doing, anywhere we set the level, the display itself, in the property, in, in the real property, in the real world, we put the crosshairs in the photo and simply click it. And it puts those readings directly into our JPEG image. Now we're going back down to about settle out here for just a second now we're going down to the edge of the fence drop that reading in now we're going to close the perimeter you don't have to go to the initial starting point we just close the perimeter and it will it will that has created our working area now we're going to take a couple of readings inside Now that we've closed the perimeter, we can go either inside or outside the perimeter and take additional readings. If we've got bumps, hills, little dips, or something like that. If we've got a plane that's simply tilted, we don't have to take many readings inside, and that's pretty much the case here. Okay. Now that has all of our height readings in. What we're going to do now is drop a distance reading in so we can gauge this or scale it. The up and down arrow on the right, we will tag that at our starting point. Then we'll hit our ruler button. Then we're going over to the other side. Hit the ruler button again. Now I know this distance is 393 inches. This is in inches. So I actually, you can measure that and put that in. That will scale everything so that when, once it comes into CAD, you'll know exactly where your distances are. So we, we put that 393 inches in across the front. Now I'm going to go in and uh, hit the little floppy icon. We're going to save this. Test plot 2. Now once we've saved it, we can send this to our laptop. just like you'd email anything out. 